Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a full review on Kayali fragrances. I know a couple of you guys have been asking me for a review on the entire range and I was lucky enough to be gifted some more of their fragrances, which I'm so excited to talk to you guys about. Now, I was gonna do a first impression, but I couldn't hold back. I waited about two days after I got the package and then I finally open them up and smell them so I have been testing them out for about a week now and I have the entire range now you guys know that um, I actually had talked about vanilla and deja vu white flower and uh, these two I actually purchased with my own money but the other ones were gifted to me by Mona so thank you so much to the uh, entire team for that but let's go ahead and get into this review if you are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up and I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section so definitely leave a comment down below and let's get into it so a little bit about Kayali this was created with or alongside Huda Beauty. She has a huge makeup line that is sold at Sephora online and she's a really popular blogger. Um, her sister Mona has been working alongside her to create Kayali and I think they just did a fantastic job because these fragrances are actually really really beautiful and I love when people pay attention to detail and not just throw out a bunch of products and when you look at the branding, at the fragrances and every single detail that went into it you can definitely tell that a lot of hard work and love went into these fragrances and I have chatted with you guys about the fragrances even before um, I got sent this package so I am really really excited to show you guys the other scents so let's quickly talk about the packaging and when you first get the fragrances you can purchase them on Sephora on the Kayali website or Hoodie Beauty I will link it down below in the description box but this is the box that they come in and I absolutely love everything about this box it's just different it has a lot of details even from the texture of the box really really like it and even the way it opens up is super duper different like I don't have a box like this so I really like it and then the packaging which you guys have heard me blab about so many times is absolutely stunning like I love how minimalistic it is but it's still very classic feminine and it's timeless this is gonna look gorgeous on your vanity for years it just looks really really beautiful and it does have a, quite a bit of weight to it so it's not something super cheap it does have a very thick glass now I probably have my handprints all over this it is a glass bottle but it is absolutely stunning and the cap here is beautiful too now, what I, another thing that I really like about this is the mister. It has this very fine, continuous mist. Let me show you guys. It is beautiful. See, it just sprays really fine, really easily, and it has a continuous mist. So it's really, really nice. Sometimes fragrances, when you spray them, they're just like too aggressive. This is super fine and beautiful. This is citrus, and citrus has quite a few fresh bright citrusy notes in there and it is really really gorgeous you can definitely get the bergamot and the grapefruit in here it is a little musky in the dry down but i don't think that the musk or the oat moss is too overpowering because i do have some fragrances that are too musky and on my skin it just doesn't smell that great it smells a little too masculine this one still has a little bit of a feminine touch it's still a little soft but definitely quite bright and citrusy this is nice for summertime vacation it's a really like refreshing type of scent and you definitely have to vibe with bergamot and pink grapefruit because those are the two notes that are the most predominant to me for sure i'm not into super citrusy uh fragrances but this there's a little something special in it that i'm comfortable wearing it sits well on my skin uh now the longevity of this one it's not super duper long i get about four to five hours of wear with this one which is quite decent um and again with most of these very light citrusy airy type of fragrances they don't really last that long on my skin in particular uh but five hours is pretty decent and you can always top it up if you're leaving the house or whatnot but it is a really beautiful scent if you love 
citrusy scents. It's a true citrus scent. So the next fragrance that we're going to talk about is Elixir and it comes in this black packaging which is super duper fancy and it's the only one that comes in like a different color. This smells really great. It smells a little bit more lavish, a little bit more fancy. I definitely feel like I have to be dressed to the occasion to pull this one off and I feel like this is a little bit leaning on the unisex vibe. It gives me a little bit of Tom Ford vibes also. A few of their private blends, I feel like this kind of takes me to that realm. It's a really, really nice scent. It smells really lavish to me, really lavish. This is the most fancy one. It's quite confident, but still quite fresh. There is red apple in here and it gives it like a very fresh element, but it's quite bold. Vanilla, patchouli's in there too. There's jasmine, I believe, in here. So. It's a really, really nice scent that is bold yet fresh, very confident and powerful. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I could definitely see a lot of women wearing it as a signature scent. But again, I feel like I have to be dressed to the occasion to pull this one off. It's not a casual scent to me. It's a little bit more fancy. It's a little bit more rich and bold and definitely will grab attention. Elixir last really well on me. I find this is the most long lasting alongside Deja Vu White Flower. So you don't necessarily have to top this one up. And the projection is quite strong on this one. You don't need to overspray. I find with all of them, they're quite strong, especially on my skin. So I don't need to overspray. Three sprays, four max is more than enough. Mm, the opening is gorgeous with that red apple it just gives it like a burst of freshness but it does have a little bit of spiciness to it it does have a little bit of warmth to it once it starts to dry down on the skin and again it's more like it, it has like this very middle eastern vibe i find with this one here so it's a gorgeous scent think of like santal royale from uh, Guerlain, not exactly the same scent whatsoever, but like that vibe that you get from that one. This is the vibe that you're gonna get from this one. It's an all-rounder scent. I don't feel like it is just reserved for summer or winter or spring. I feel like you can definitely, yeah, you can definitely pull this off all year round, but to me, it gives me more evening vibe. So this one is Elixir and it's the most long-lasting for sure. This one, has quickly become one of my favorites. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just trying to get it out of the packaging. There we go. So this is Musk. And when I heard the name Musk, I honestly felt like this was gonna be the least favorite of mine. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too maybe manly, um, give me like cologne vibes. Total opposite. It smells incredible, absolutely incredible. and. I've actually been wearing it non-stop since I smelt this one. It is definitely one of my favorites. Mm. The jasmine, the vanilla, the sandalwood, it just blends really well together. It's such a beautiful, very like light, fresh, but yet sweet scent. It's quite feminine, but not overly sweet, but it definitely is quite feminine. And it just smells really, really special. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous like signature scent. I can also see a bride wearing this fragrance. It just smells so, so good. I'm not sure what's in this that just kind of is gravitating me towards this fragrance so much. Maybe it is the lotus flower. I don't have a ton of fragrances with that particular note, but this is one of the safest blind buys within the entire line. I think this is definitely the safest one uh, to pick up even without smelling it. I would recommend it for sure. It smells, it smells really good. It definitely is more like a floral scent. If you smell this, I get more of those floral notes. The jasmine is gorgeous in here, but every note is very fresh, light, and airy. Nothing is too bold. Nothing is too heavy. So it's a great everyday type of scent. But then again, it's so beautiful that you can pull this off for any special occasion. And it just makes you feel very feminine and very lovely. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I 
adore this one a lot. This is a scent that lasts pretty well on me. Also, I would say not as long as Elixir. I want to say this one I can get a good six to seven hour wear. But you know me, with scents that I absolutely love, I don't mind topping them up. And these are not extremely expensive where they're like niche brand prices, but I definitely feel they have the quality of a niche brand. Oh yeah, this this is this is beautiful. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. And then we have Vanilla, which I've already talked to you guys about many, many times. Uh, this was the first purchase that I picked up from the Kayali brand. Vanilla is a very sweet fragrance. Very, very sweet. It's true, it is a vanilla scent, but it has quite a bit of a boldness to it, and you definitely have to like sweetness. Now, mind you, fragrances are totally different with everyone. They could be amazing for me and not amazing for you, and vice versa, so keep that in mind. But this, to me, is a true deep vanilla scent. This has Tonka Absolute in there, it has brown sugar, amber wood so it's very warm it's very rich and it's quite dense in my opinion so this scent I only use for layering I'll be honest I cannot wear this on its own on my skin it turns a little too sweet I think the brown sugar really pulls on my skin so all I smell is sugar and vanilla but once I layer it with other fragrances it smells really great it's just on its own I cannot wear it on my skin another way that i like to use it is actually to spray in my house like i've sprayed my throw pillows my curtains and the house just smells really feminine and sweet and sugary but not overly sweet like it does on my skin uh, now i have heard other people love this on its own and it works out for them for me it's more of a layering scent for sure uh, to me this is quite strong i don't overspray, otherwise it's just a little too much so definitely try it out if you like vanilla you probably will like this one in terms of the lasting ability it lasts really well like mind you i don't use it on its own i am combining it with other fragrances but um i would say about five hours with this one not like super duper long like elixir or even musk but about five hours you should get a good wear out of this one and last but not least deja vu white flower 57 you guys know how i feel about this one i absolutely love it and i've talked about it many times on my channel because it is a beautiful oh it's such a gorgeous scent it smells like a true woman's fragrance definitely white flowers in this one it is a floral scent you have to have to love florals but it's really well blended it doesn't just smell like a particular flower or it just smells like floral or just rosy it's really an intoxicating inviting kind of scent and I love this fragrance because it has some of my favorite notes in here there's jasmine there's gardenia in here there's orange flower I know there's vanilla in here and I think there is tube rose in here but the tube rose isn't super heavy so it does have a little bit of a mature touch to it but it doesn't smell super vintagey or old definitely quite a few age groups will pull this off but it is gorgeous it is so so beautiful again would make a stunning signature scent or even for special occasions it's really really beautiful it's really inviting definitely a compliment getter for sure and with this one it's quite long lasting on my skin and it projects really well so those around you would definitely uh, smell this fragrance and you will get questions for sure you will definitely get questions it's one of my favorite scents like right now. It is absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. So out of the entire fragrance range within Kayali, I will definitely say that my two favorite fragrances is Musk and Deja Vu White Flower. These are the two, if you don't have a chance to actually play around with them and smell them in store, these are the safest blind buys in my opinion they smell so good you cannot go wrong especially musk i think musk is definitely one that will grab anyone's attention and is quite crowd pleasing it's a really soft beautiful feminine scent that 
anyone can pull off and with musk i think that ton of age groups can wear this it's definitely not like a a mature heavy scent it is beautiful absolutely beautiful and definitely all year round any occasion it's just it's perfect this deja vu white flower is a little bit more fancy it's a little bit more sophisticated and it's a little bit more mature than musk for sure but they are both really gorgeous and i would definitely recommend you guys checking these two out now the other ones are beautiful too but it all depends on what you like if you love more citrusy scents the citrus one is perfect if you like something a little bit more heavy and bold and has a little bit of a middle eastern type of vibe the elixir is really nice but these two right here are gorgeous gorgeous and i'm just completely amazed at the um just the the quality of the fragrances they smell amazing the attention to detail so definitely a brand worth checking out if you haven't already i'm going to link all of their fragrances down below as i said before so can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you tried any of them out or if you plan on purchasing definitely let me know and as always if you do pick something up and you show it on instagram tag me on your story so i can repost it and yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video I can't wait to chat with you guys. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.